Hey, it's Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching. Welcome back to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Before we go on, make sure you take this time right now to hit the subscribe button over here so that you get all of the latest notifications whenever I upload a video so you don't miss out on any of the exciting and informative training tips that I've got coming up. Today what we're going to be looking at is the science behind sports drink so you can be a little bit more informed about the sports drinks you use, how it affects your performance and potentially even just make your own at home and save a few dollars. Let's take a look. Today I want to take a look at the science behind sports drink. The sports drink market is a multi-billion dollar industry and there is so much money pumped into marketing to try and get you to drink the product that is being sold. What I want to do is break it down, take a look at what sports drink actually is, what the function of each part of it is, so you can be a little smarter about what you're choosing to put in your mouth when you're racing. And training. So let's take a look at it. Now when you break it down, all a sports drink is, is carbohydrate or sugar, sodium, salt and water. Those things put together, usually they chuck in a few added extras as well to pump it up, but that's pretty much the basics of it. Once we know that, we can even make our own. But carbohydrate, the idea is some carbohydrate to fuel the muscles. Sports drinks will either be very hydration focused or very fuel focused. The more carbohydrate you put in a drink, the slower the hydration aspect is. And obviously the more carbohydrate you take out of the drink, so the less carbohydrate it has in it, the better the hydration aspect. But you can somewhere meet in the middle and make a nice wee balance. And you want to have a, a drink that's around about 4-8% to 8 carbohydrate. 4 to 8 percent, so that's 40 to 80 grams of carbohydrate per litre. So if you were only going to be drinking your carbohydrate intake, you'd have to drink quite a lot or have a very strong drink, but that would affect the hydration aspect. So there's a little bit of a trade-off, and we'll talk about this a little bit later on as well. So that's carbohydrate, sodium or salt. Sodium is really, really important for fluid retention. If you just drink water, you'll just flush it through your body and pee it all out. Your body's not actually able to absorb it and hold on to it. So for sodium, you want to look for a drink that's somewhere around 500 to 700 milligrams of sodium per litre. So that's crucial for that fluid retention. Fluid retention. Keep a hold of that idea in your head. Now when you combine these two and put them in water, what it does is it gives you an osmolarity. And osmolarity is just the sum of all of the particles of d dissolved within the water, taking you back to a bit of chemistry here. So osmolarity is really, really important because when you drink a sports drink, it comes into your stomach, and then basic chemistry tells us that things move from a low concentration of osmolarity to a high concentration. So outside of your stomach is a high concentration in the plasma, and we need to have a low concentration in our stomach compared to the plasma so that that will actually flow out into it. If the concentration inside your stomach is too high, what happens is the body has to secrete fluid back into your stomach to dilute whatever's in there so it can be absorbed. So this is where it comes back to carbohydrate and sodium being in the right levels so that what you're drinking is actually being absorbed. And the ideal osmolarity we want to hit is somewhere under 270 milliosmoles. And this is slightly hypotonic, so below the osmolarity of your plasma which is somewhere between 285 and 290, depending on who you are. So it's really important that we get this balance right to maximize the absorption rate. 
Then we'll take a look at con different conditions because if it's really hot, the limiting factor of your performance is your body getting too hot and overheating. In which case, you really want to focus in in the hydration aspect of your sports drink. So if it's very, very hot, you want to probably limit the amount of carbohydrates that are in your sports drink and maximize the sodium so that you get very good fluid retention and you're able to hydrate sufficiently. Whereas in a cold environment, in a cold environment, the thing that's going to limit your performance is carbohydrate. You're going to slow down or stop because you run out of fuel rather than overheating because you're not well hydrated enough. So in a cold environment, you could bump up your carbohydrate content of your drink to the upper levels of the carbohydrate. So as your stomach's absorbing, it's getting more carbohydrate as well. So there you have it, a little bit of the science behind sports drink and what we're trying to achieve. Carbohydrate, sodium and water is pretty much all sports drinks are. With that knowledge you can go away and even make your own and I'll post a link to an article that we've written about this and how it gives you a recipe of the things you need to make your own sports drink at home. The key thing we need to remember is we just don't chuck all these things in randomly. We have a look at the levels so that it actually aids absorption out of the stomach. Make sure you take some time now to hit the subscribe button so that as soon as I upload a video, you're notified about it so that you don't miss out on any of the training tips that I'm putting out. I've got lots of stuff planned, so don't miss out on that. If you found this video interesting, check out this video over here, how to train your VO2 max and anaerobic threshold. Also, check out this video over here in which I outline everything I ate and drink in my recent Everestine attempt on my bike, riding the height of Everest on one single hill. There you have it. Get out there, get into it, take this information, use it so that you can train harder, but most importantly, train smarter.